Hello everyone, we're back again this week with a very pretty large list of comic books coming out this week. And this is for the week of August 14th, uh, almost the middle of the month already. It is the middle of the month. Yeah, seems to be going extra fast. Celebrated my son's 7th birthday on the 7th of this month. And we had a grandos time. Took his first tour of the comic book shop. And needless to say, he was in awe. And shout out to Trung at Bailey's Comics. He really treated my son extra, extra nice. Uh, bought him some stuff. He got his first pop, which is uh, Spider-Punk. And he got uh, two nice free trade paperbacks and a chapter book. So always like to give a shout out to my LCS, Bailey Comics, and Lindenhurst. New York, and uh, there's been so much going on in TV land on these uh, apps with uh, the DC Universe apps and Marvel Phase 4 and all of this stuff, and I can't quite say just how underwhelmed and uh, even displeased with a lot of the things that's going on, I guess, that's in cartoon land and comic books, but... Needless to say, that I guess that's just a sign of the times, right? Right. No argument here. Yet. But I'm um, just thankful that I uh, can really have some really nice conversations with guys in the comic book community. Just concerning some of the good stuff that's coming out. Uh, talks about Thor, the House of X and Powers of Ten, and all of this other stuff that's going on. So, without any further to do, we're going to jump into these books. And as always, we have our list, we have our covers of the week, and our books of the week. And we may even have a, what do I call it? Honorable mention, that's it. First, we're going to start off with DC Comics. We have Batman and the Outsiders, number four, with Brian Hill and Dexter Soy. Cover A is by Tyler Kirkham. And cover B is by Mikkel Janin. Catwoman 14 by V. Ram and Mirka Andolfo. Cover A is by Joel Jones. And we have a Batman the Animated Series cover by none other than Art Germ, which is fantastic. And I will be getting two of those that will look beautiful slapped. Collapser number two by Mikey Way and Elias Karaz, Karazis, and uh, cover A is done by Elias. Detective Comics 1009 by Peter Tomasi and Christian Deuce. Uh, cover A is by Doug Mankey, and Brian Hitch is doing cover B. I'm not sure if these DC covers are still uh, the cardstock. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. So watch for the price bump. Because if you get the cover B, it's going to be a dollar more, most likely. Event Leviathan number three by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maliev. Alex Maliev is doing cover A, and Jay Anacleto is doing cover B. Uh, great stuff on The Flash continues with uh, Flash number 76 by Joshua Williamson and Rafa Sandoval. Rafa Sandoval is doing cover a and those cover a's are looking great and yasmin putri is on the cover b list for the flash for the next few issues hawkman 15 by robert vendetti and pat olief pat olief is doing cover a and in huck lee is doing cover b superman 15 i believe this starts a new storyline by brian michael bendis Joe Prada and Ivan Reyes. Joe Prada is doing cover A. And Adam Hughes is doing cover B. Uh, Wonder Woman 76 by G. Willow Wilson and Lee Garbett. And I will be picking this book up not just for the covers, but for the interior art. Because Lee Garbett, straight off of Skyward, is now doing Wonder Woman. I wonder what that is. I wonder what he was putting up over there on Instagram. Uh, cover A is by Jesus Morano, and cover B is by Jenny Frizen. Next up, we have Image Comics. We have a few here. 
Oblivion Song number 18 by Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo de la Fleche. Reaver number two. It feels like this book just came out by Justin Jordan and Rebecca Isaacs and another halfway new one. Sonata number three by David Hine and Brian Haberlin. And Brian Haberlin is the man because he is doing both cover A and cover B. Unearth number two by Cullen Bunn and Baldemar Rivas. Uh, Rivas is doing cover A and Kyle Stram is doing cover B. I hope I said that right. Uh, for the indies, uh, from Dark Horse, we have uh, Sword Daughter number eight, a uh, favorite of mine, by Brian Wood and Mac Chatter. Uh, ben Oliver is doing cover A, and Mac Chatter is doing cover B. Uh, a new book, I believe this is from Boom Studios, and watch out for this. I don't know if it was um, under ordered or what, but I had looked on. What was that? Midtown Comics and the place where I get some of my books over there at Comic Zone. And they're saying one per customer for this book. And it seems that it's going to be huge. Once and Future Number One by Karen Gillian and Dan Mora. And this book seems similar to a television show I used to watch on NBC called Grimm, where uh, the man, uh, main male character, protagonist, whatever you want to call him, inherits like the monster hunting skill or whatever that's been handed down through his uh, ancestors and his old grandmother or auntie or whatever has to come and put him on the path of monster hunting. And that book seems to be uh, the It book this week. So watch out for that. And I know there was a one per store variant, which I hit up my LCS the other night on Instagram. I, I threw him the pick and asked him about it. He just gave me a thumbs up. So I have no idea how much this book costs or whatever, but I'll make sure I throw up the uh, variant up here. Uh, going over to Marvel Comics, we have a bunch of Conan books this week. I think they just uh, really just milking this cow for everything it's worth. Age of Conan, Valeria, number one. And um, I don't have any writer or artist information on that. But Jay Anacleto is doing cover A and Terry Dotson is doing cover B. And this also has an action figure variant amazing spider-man 27 by nick spencer and kev walker uh cover a is by ryan otley and cover b is by Wu chu lee and that is a bring on the bad guys variant i don't know if you guys have heard but i uh was hearing that ryan otley is leaving spider-man it doesn't seem like he did a whole whole lot of issues it seemed like humberto ramos did more drawing than ryan otley but I'm not sure. That's funny. After like 10 years on Invincible, then he only does like not even a full year on Spider-Man. Go figure. Captain Marvel number nine. This is another hot book. I guess that star character will be appearing also in this issue by Kelly Thompson and Carmen Nunez Carnero. We have a cover by Mark Brooks, cover A, which is phenomenal. We have uh, J.G. Jones is doing one of those Marvel 80th anniversary frame variants. And uh, no, J.G. Jones is doing a variant. I guess that's a bring on a bad guys variant. I'm sorry. And uh, John Tyler Christopher is doing the Marvel 80th anniversary frame variant. Conan the Barbarian Exodus, number one. Uh, no information either on that, but the side Rebic is doing cover A and Nick Bradshaw is doing cover B. Doctor Strange 17 by Mark Wade and Barry Kitson. Uh, Jesus Sayers is doing cover A and Emmanuel Lupacino is doing a Carnage cover on cover B. Doctor Strange is a little behind and that's why we have the Carnage cover on that. Fantastic Four 13 by Dan Slott 
and Sean Izoske, and this book finally has a really good artist on it. It's pretty dope. Uh, Aside Rebic is doing cover A. Cover B is by Gerard Peral, and that is a Bring On The Bad Guys cover with the Doom on it. And cover C is the uh, 80th anniversary frame variant by Nick Bradshaw in A Human Torch. Looks super dope. Immortal Hulk number one, the director's cut. So everybody who doesn't want to pay uh, $25, $30, $40 for the Immortal Hulk and those who already have it should pick this up. I think this is almost like a black and white annotated thing, which they give uh, notes from the artists. And I might have the script in it also. Just a great book to pick up. Miles Morales, which I'm just calling it Miles Morales right now. Number nine by Saladin Ahmed and Javer Garin. This book, I picked up the last one, and I just got it for the cover. But I read it, and I'm like, this is not Spider-Man. This book is dope. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and try to snatch up the last couple of issues of this. This, this book is not your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Something totally different. Uh, yeah, I'll say it's a must-buy. Uh, cover A is by Patrick O'Keefe, and cover B, which is a frame variant, is by Pascal Fury. Another big book from Marvel, and I guess this will be for the next four weeks. Going on, Powers of X, number two, by Jonathan Hickman and R.B. Silva. We have five, six covers. Uh, cover A is by R.B. Silva. We got a connecting cover by Yasmin Putri, an action figure cover. Uh, a cover D by Scotty Young cover E is by Mike Huddleston and cover F is by Dustin Weaver Marvel's going to make you buy at least two covers for these uh, House of X and Powers of Ten and I guess that was Powers of Ten not Powers of X excuse me for that Silver Surfer Black number three by Donny Cates another must buy and Trad Moore, Trad Moore is doing cover A, and Ron Lim is doing cover B. If you're not on it, as uh, <laughs> Jim Comics says, uh, I don't know why you're collecting comics if you're not buying that book. Silver Surfer Prodigal Son, number one, by Peter David and Francesco Mana. Cover A is by Miko Suyahan, and cover B is by Ron Garney. And I guess this... Prodigal Son is a continuation from that Fantastic Four, Prodigal Son. And last for Marvel, we have Symbiote Spider-Man number five. And I don't know if this is the last issue or not. And this is by Peter David and Greg Land. And they only have one cover for that. And yes, that is it for this week. For our covers of the week, we have Doctor Strange number 17. By Jesus Sayers, which I really wish he would get back on the pencils on this book when he was on it. This, I mean, the story and everything has been dope, but his artwork is magnificent. Uh, Silver Surfer Black number three, the Ron Lim cover, which is, I guess, a tribute back to that old Silver Surfer book with Thor versus the Silver Surfer. And we have uh, the pa Powers of Ten, excuse me. Number two by Yasmin Putri. That is the connecting cover. And my number one cover of the week is Captain Marvel number nine by Mark Brooks. And he's just raining terror on that. Our books of the week. First, we have Miles Morales number nine, which is uh, becoming a really good read. I would definitely say pick that up. Of course, Powers of Ten number two. And uh, the book of the week is an independent book, which it seems to be that way for a long time now. Once and Future, number one, by Karen Gillan and Dan Mora. Make sure you pick up that book, because I guess it'll probably be like that Dead Ends Kids book that came out last week. And that is it from me, people. I will catch you at the same bad time and at the same bad channel. Peace.